In this video, we're going to discuss the different parts that go along with the Genesis framework. And this is it you see here. And here are some of the theme settings you have. And you can change some of the layout here if you just wanted your sidebar on different sides or if you wanted to include two sidebars and have them on different sides. You could do that or maybe one on the left, one on the right. Or maybe you don't want to include any sidebar. You know, that can all be changed in here. And if you go into your import export section, this is where you would actually import different settings or theme settings you may have already had. And normally these come normally these come in a dot json file. So but if you're like me and don't know a great deal about coding and things html stuff like that then this probably won't be a concern to you layout extras these are additional layouts you may have if you like if you wanted to have different layout when you click on a post when your post open you can do all of that in here uh, you can maybe not have a sidebar when you show your post or when you open a page rather than a post you don't want to have a sidebar or maybe you want to have sidebars on each side it's going to be totally left up to you and the particular theme that you are using with your site and just overall however your site may be laid out and simple sidebars this is something here that you can do if you want to try to just mess around a little bit with something different uh, I have never used this particular section but uploading favicons now up here if you look at the top you see i have the little picture of myself up there for a favicon you actually have to make your favicons a particular size and you can go to a particular website online and make your favicon and you can just Google that. I'm not real sure. I can't remember exactly what that site was. But you can actually run your any of your actual photos through there. Or if you want to create one, that's going to be left up to you. Now, here's the Genesis slider that comes included in Genesis. Uh, if you've ever seen those those slides that rotate, at like, like at the top of the page, it goes from one post to the next to the next. And it slides through three or four different posts. You can do that with your Genesis here, and you can choose which category. If you want to have a slider based on categories, or if you want to use pages rather than post, you can do all that here. Or if you want it to include everything except certain taxonomy IDs, you can include those there as well. And you can set all that up inside the slider settings. Now, in the Appearance tab is where you have your themes. And you can see here, here is our news theme. And that's what you see the Free City of Tweaks is running on, is the news theme. And when you install it and start to use it, you're actually going to be using a, a child theme. That's what they want you to use rather than the actual theme. Because when you use a child theme, if you make any kind of changes or anything like that to it you've always got your parent theme they refer to which is the main theme to fall back on that's always going to be exactly like it was when you first downloaded it so keep in mind if you were to take a theme and mess it all up you wouldn't have any way of knowing how it all went back together unless you were the developer that put it together and if you were the developer that created that theme chances are you probably would never have torn it up to begin with. But that's why they want you to use a, th a child theme. That's just one of the reasons. Here is the Genesis framework. This is like a theme somewhat that you get when you, in when you install Genesis. This adds a framework. I look at it like a skeleton to your WordPress overall. And then your news or or theme you install is like the skin that goes on it that's how I sort of visualize it in my mind and you customize it however you want it to look so by changing the appearance the different look color shape 
all that you using all these different tabs here to do that now one of the big things in your theme is the widget area widgets allow you to add many different things and just for instance one of the widget areas I have here is called the header right. Now, if we open up freecityoftweaks.com, right here is that he particular header. This is the large banner ad to the right of the Free City of Tweaks logo or banner up here. And here is the primary sidebar. So everything you see down the right side right here is what you have in here all of these different things so if we were to go in here and just look around you see all of this can actually be changed just by making a few changes right here so for instance if i wanted to move this particular ad up to the top i can move it up one slot to here and now it's going to actually move that ad up one slot. So when it reloads, you see it actually moved it up. So that's just a little example that I wanted to show you there how that works. Now, I really don't use any secondary sidebars or any home, middle, top, left, bottom ads or widgets. But I, I do use the footer section, the footer one, two, and three. This is what you see at the bottom of the page here. And you can add any kind of widget you want to show here. If I wanted to have an ad down here at the bottom of the page, I could just include it right here and it would show it just like you would do in the sidebar. But I've got the top post widget, recent post widget, things like that added at the bottom of the page. And that's how that works. Now your menus is what you usually refer to when you're talking about your nav bar right here this is what they refer to as the menu here's the primary menu and up here is a secondary menu so with the theme I'm using I get two different menus I can choose if I want to use which I am and here's primary menu and here's second menu and if I wanted to add something new to one of those cat or one of those locations, then I would normally create a page or I would choose a category and just add it over here and save menu and then it would save it to my nav bar primary or secondary wherever I had actually put that to begin with. Now edit CSS tab this is probably something you don't want to fool with unless you are knowledgeable about CSS but if you know how to use CSS then you can actually come in here and update that and change things and make things look very 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 much better header right here we're clicking on this is just your logo they refer to it as your header and that's exactly the logo you see that I'm using right now um, background is just the background color you can change that to be whatever you want you see mine is just this white and if I wanted to change it I could just choose a different color by changing it right here and then just choosing whatever color I wanted and hit save here's your editor and the, here again this is your style sheet and this is something else you don't want to fool with unless you know what you're doing. So let's just sort of bypass those. The edit CSS and the editor section, you don't want to fool with that unless you know exactly what you're doing. So that's a little bit of an overview of the Genesis framework. In the next video, we're going to get into how to use plugins.